Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Ukrainian armed forces are acquiring the BTR-4 armored personnel carrier, APC, in limited quantities due to production constraints. It has been revealed that only one company in Ukraine, the Lazova Forging Mechanical Plant, LKMZ, has the capability to manufacture the armored hulls required for the BTR-4. However, the production process at this plant relies on outdated Soviet technology, primarily manual welding, limiting the output to a maximum of 20 hulls per month. To address the demand for a larger number of APCs, production of BTR-4 hulls was initiated at the Zhitomir Armored Vehicle Repair Plant after 2018, resulting in increased production rates. Nonetheless, the Ukrainian armed forces required hundreds of new APCs per month, a demand that was not met, especially after the 2022 Russian invasion disrupted the project. The Hornshi APC was developed as a private initiative by the Proktika Research and Production Association, specializing in armored vehicle manufacturing. This new APC is essentially a modernized version of the aging BTR-60 petabytes APC, which has been in service since the late 1960s, reflecting Ukraine's existing inventory of outdated armored vehicles. Proposed for the Ukrainian Armed Forces since 2016, the Hornshi retains the basic structure of the BTR-60 petabytes floor pan but features extensive modifications throughout. The redesign of the Hornshi includes the replacement of outdated components with new ones, such as the upper hull, engine, and transmission. The interior has been overhauled, relocating the engine compartment from the rear to the middle of the hull to create a troop compartment at the rear. Enhanced armor protection and a redesigned hull contribute to a vastly improved external appearance and increased capabilities compared to the BTR-60 petabytes. Similar modifications could potentially be applied to other Soviet APCs like the BTR-70 and BTR-80. In terms of protection, the Hornshi features significantly upgraded armor, offering improved defense against various threats, including 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds and NATO standard small arms ammunition. Additionally, the vehicle's interior is lined with a spall liner for added protection. Notably, the inclusion of a multi-layered armored floor greatly enhances protection against mine blasts, with the Hornshi capable of withstanding explosions equivalent to 6 kilograms of TNT, a substantial improvement over the BTR-60 petabytes. The Hornshi can be equipped with various weapon systems, including a remotely controlled weapon station with a 14.5mm heavy machine gun, which can be reloaded from inside the vehicle. Alternatively, some versions of the Hornshi feature a turret-mounted 30mm cannon for increased firepower. The redesigned hull and increased roofline provide greater internal volume, allowing for a revised seating arrangement and the incorporation of energy-absorbing seats for improved crew and passenger safety. Powered by a Deutz TCD 2013 diesel engine producing 210 horsepower, with an option for a higher output engine generating 320 horsepower, the Hornshi utilizes an Allison automatic transmission, a significant improvement over the BTR-60's outdated powertrain configuration. Despite these upgrades, the Hornshi retains its amphibious capabilities, albeit with modifications, such as the removal of the water jet propulsion system, relying instead on wheel propulsion for travel on water. Various configurations and variants of the Hornshi have been proposed, reflecting its adaptability and potential for diverse operational roles. That's all for now. See you later.